morning and welcome to this week's online assembly. What I want you to do is have a look at these famous people and say what they have, think what they have in common. Okay, so Frank Bruner, Gwyneth Paltrow, J.K. Rowling and Stephen Fry. Okay, so like millions of people, at some point they've all suffered from some form of mental illness, whether or not that be um, depression, anxiety, eating disorders. There's a whole range of illnesses that fall under the umbrella of mental illness. So other famous people such as the late Heath Ledger, Robin Williams, Keira Knightley, Britney Spears, Kylie Minogue have all battled with their mental health at some point. OK, so I've just popped this on here as an example um, of the difference between physical um, and visible mental health. So if we have a look, we've got Martin Ashton, um, who's a famous mountain biker. He has lost the use of, legs, of his legs at some point in his life. And physically, to look at, you can see that he has a physical impairment. Whereas if we look at Sam Pilgrim in, in the bottom um, corner, he looks like he's probably at his peak when it comes to his physical health. So what about the difference when it comes to a less vis um, visible health? OK, so I'm just going to play this short video about some of the stigmas and issues related to mental health and people being able to talk freely and openly about any problems or concerns that they have. OK, Pygmalion by George Bernard Shaw. Can you open your exercise books, please? If you've got a 1500 word essay to do, I'd like you to choose one of the themes from the board and start to plan it. Ah, the Wanderer returns. That's another two weeks behind. See me after class. So where have you been this time? Somewhere warm. But yeah, your mum's bed. Yeah. Okay, okay, settle down. Are we a comedian as well now, Michael? As I was saying, choose one of the themes on the board and start planning your essay. Yeah, I've got one for you. How many teachers does it take to change a light bulb? <laughs> no? All right, how many depressed people does it take to change a light bulb? Doesn't matter, it's always dark, isn't it? <laughs> when you wake up, you've got a dead arm. You can't control it, can't make it do anything. Imagine that in your whole body, in your mind, your whole life. Remember when I was off school? Remember all the jokes? What options are you choosing, Michael? Getting out of bed, staying awake, coming to class. Only that's when I was so low. Getting out of bed wasn't an option for me. Even on Facebook. Changing my status to still skiving. It's funny, isn't it? It just makes it a little harder. Sometimes it's already too hard. I mean, you lot are my mates, right? Right? OK, so what did that video mean to you? Would it change the way you talk about mental health around school or when you're talking to your friends or on social media? We often hear comments such as, that's mad, he's mental, she's crazy. 
And I think a lot of the time people are making these types of comments and jokes to kind of mask what's really going on inside. Okay, there used to be a real stigma attached to mental health where people couldn't talk about how they were feeling. They almost felt ashamed of it. Whereas now there's so many different organisations and charities out there which offer support and kind of encourage people that it is okay if you if you feel like you've got an issue or you've got something that's really worrying you that it's okay to talk about that and you, really you can talk about that freely and openly in a safe space so the mind.org is a mental health charity which offers a range of resources and a range of different types of support networks for people who do have concerns or are worried about the mental health their information is available for you to access on the school's website and um, the Edge Academy. Um, so feel free to have a look on there and access any extra support that you need or feel free to contact the school if you need to. Um, they state that one in 40 people will suffer from depression. One in 20 will suffer from some form of anxiety disorder. And one in 10 people will suffer from a mixture of birth. Not only that, more than one in 10 people will suffer from a different form of mental illness. So that's where people suffer from not just one, but a number of different types of mental illness during their lifetime, such as phobias and OCD, panic and panic disorders and post-traumatic stress disorders, which you see really common among soldiers and, and people that have just left the army. And then another one that's becoming really huge at the moment is body image and eating disorders. OK, this isn't just linked to females. There's a bit of a stigma where it, it's almost like it's females that have eating disorders and that are worried about the body image images. But this also affects males, too. It's not something that just stays with people in the rarely teens. It also goes through to adulthood. So what do you want to take from this assembly? What are some of the key messages? So will your attitude change towards mental health? OK, do you think that when you see something going on, maybe you won't rush to react and you'll maybe look out um, for one another maybe a little bit more often? Do you think that you're always as, as, as understanding as possible when it comes to your friends, when they're showing that they're in some form of distress? For me, one of the key messages is that it's OK to ask for help. I think it's really important that if we that we recognise if we just bottle stuff up, it doesn't necessarily go away. And that the key to promoting and positive mental health is to be able to talk about it, to be able to talk about issues that we've got going on. So I wanted to end the assembly with a positive um, short video clip of um, what potentially could have turned into a life-threatening accident and a situation that could have had a really negative impact upon somebody's mental health. Are you looking for something? Are you searching for someone else? You say I feel better at midnight because the moon is your only friend And I want you bad Oh, I knew that you right would want to go without I could be your hero go on, You want me to yeah. You've got to show me how Like a rush of blood To the head Okay, cool Go. Go ahead. Go!
Oh, step hot. Yeah, go. Yeah. Good to be back. Whoa. Whoa.